Now, I'm excited to introduce a special guest. Chandra Gopal is research director at IDC for the future of intelligence. She looks at how organizations can leverage their investments in data management and analytics to drive data-driven decisions and better business outcomes. Hey, Chandana. Hi, TK. Thank you for having me. Hey, it's great to have you here. You know, we've both been in the BI and analytics space for a while now. While the industry has been primarily focused on analytics platforms and tools, we're seeing a lot of interest in application analytics. In other words, analytics that's purpose-built for line of business SaaS applications. What's your read on this? Yeah, thanks for having me, TK. Uh, this is a really important subject because you're right, we've had data management and analytics tools forever, and they still will continue to be, to be that way, right? We need them. Uh, we need the idea of having uh, specialized tools specifically for analytics, for data management, and we need the skill sets that are related to that as well in all enterprises. But what we have is we have a vast majority of our workers that are in business that really can leverage analytics and the intelligence that they provide to them in making their business decisions without being dependent on going to a specialized group or you know, a BI group to get those insights and analytics at their work, you know, at, in the flow of their work, in their process. Um, so that's why we're seeing this rise in the interest in analytic tools that are purpose-built for the, the domain. By domain, I mean the line of business, uh, which really can is, is specialized. They have the workflow, the processes, everything built in for them uh, that they can start, pick it up right away and leverage to make their jobs better and easier for them to do. Great. You know, Chandana, like most line of business applications today come with built-in operational or transactional reporting capabilities. Um, for example, our Fusion Cloud applications come pre-built with OTBI for that purpose. How would you describe to the line of business leader in finance or operations or HR sort of the opportunity and benefit uh, from adopting a modern data management and analytics strategy similar to what we're offering uh, with Fusion Analytics? Absolutely, TK. Um, and, you know, a lot of people conflate the idea of information delivery, which is what we've always had. You know, we've had dashboards and reports and, you know, delivered to us in various formats. Yeah. And we assume that having access to those reports and dashboards is really making us, you know, giving us the analytics and the insights we need. Uh, but in information delivery is not the same as having that intelligence to be able to use uh, in our day-to-day -day work. So what we are seeing now is really infusing our applications with the intelligence um, that AI and machine learning and all of these new modern technologies are able to now make much more accessible to the business user uh, so that they can be, you know, they can enhance their own work and they they can they can have better outcomes in whatever their line of business is, right? Um, and, you know, we, why hasn't this been there before? I mean, we've had the technologies, you know, we've had data stores, we've had databases, we've had applications. What is new right now? Uh, the thing that is new is that the these tools have become much more easy to use for the end user. They are not programming driven. They are not driven by you know someone needing to know SQL or coding or any such thing. They are very intuitive. Um, they allow the end users to look into to you know click through and make understand where the the recommendations are coming from, what the machine is telling them. They can leverage those recommendations to do things like predictions or to do things like advanced analytics. Uh, things that they couldn't do before. They really know their business. Don't get me wrong. These business users really understand their own line of business and the processes related to them. What we're doing now is making things like data science available to them in their applications that they know and use really well uh, to make them better at whatever they're doing. That makes a ton of sense. Um, so Chandra, in your mind, what's the North Star for application analytics, let's say five to 10 years from now? For me, I would, you know, the emphasis that I'm seeing come up in terms of the emphasis on data culture, data literacy, making everyone data centric in the way they do their work will be, you know, something that I would love to see happen across the organization. Because even today, a lot of organizations still struggle with getting, bridging that gap where executives, you know, they, they want to be intelligent. They want to make sure that they build that enterprise intelligence in, in, their, in their operations and in their decision making. Uh, but there's a gap between what the, the worker 
worker, the business user is able to do. Um, so increasing that ability across the board, making data and analytics much more pervasive across the entire organization, making everyone more data centric is something that I would love to see going forward. And the thing is organizations that are able to do it today, they are seeing incredible business outcomes. And these are business outcomes such as, you know, their financial metrics improve, their operational metrics improve, um, their uh, customer service, their employee satisfaction, all of these metrics are business metrics that improve from the use of data and analytics. And I would love to see that become uh, systemic, right? It's become something that everybody has access to and knows how to use. That's great. Chandana, I want to thank you so much for being here and sharing your perspectives and look forward to talking to you soon. That's great, TK. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.